Welcome to 5 Minutes in the Word, a daily devotional in the Word of God. Logan, when you think about uh, growing uh, spiritually, there's several things that can really help a person grow. Um, but, you know, it's not just the, the, the long-term growth that we want. You know, it's the day-to-day, -day, you know, moment-to-moment -moment kind of growth that, that we all need. And those things help us feel strong. They help us feel, you know, uh, you know, just settled in the Lord and, and really, you know, on fire for Him. And they give us that, that strength and that comfort. Mm -hmm. uh, one of those things is prayer. Why don't you tell us a little bit about strength and prayer well, uh, today? Prayer, prayer is an avenue in which we talk to God, as we know. Uh, but it's a good thing in that uh, we, when we're struggling with things or we just want to talk to somebody, we, we know we're going to be heard. Uh, and that's a comforting feeling to know. But looking at Psalm 28, which is where... Uh, this kind of rings true. Uh, David is talking to God, and in verse 1, uh, I guess if you could paraphrase verse 1 in what David was actually trying to say is he's pleading with God, says, God, let me know that I'm praising you. Uh, let me like Give me that confirmation. Uh, as verse 1 says, To you, O Lord, my, I call my rock. Be not deaf to me, lest if you uh, be silent to me, I become like those who go down in the pit. He's saying here, God, again, let me know that I'm praising you. That way I'm not uh, persuaded, I guess, into thinking that I'm doing wrong. Right. Uh, so in verse 2, uh, he, David's prayer is very earnest. He's earnestly praying. Uh, and it kind of gives forth the idea that David means business about uh, his communication with God. As verse 2 says, Hear the voice of my pleas for mercy when I cry to you for help, when I lift up my hands toward your most uh, holy sanctuary. Uh, and in the Hebrew uh, translated there, it's the innermost sanctuary there. Uh, so going as deep as he possibly can, pleading with God, give me that confirmation. Uh, and verse 3 is probably my favorite just because <laughs> it, it ties back to a psalm we've talked about previously. Uh, but do not drag me off with the wicked for the workers of evil who speak peace with their neighbors <clears throat> while evil is in their hearts. And that first phrase, do not drag me off could also be uh, translated uh, draw near uh, and as an outdoorsman and one thing that you're trying to do when you plant plots or you put feed out or whatnot is you're trying to draw that prey in to convince them that okay this is safe and then uh, is you're there for uh, for an ambush but it's kind of a, a, a tie back to a psalm that we talked about previously Psalm 26 uh, there uh, verse 4 and 5 really go and coincide together uh, Give to me, or give to them according to their work and according to the evil of their deeds. Give to them according to the works of their hands. Render them their due reward, because they do not regard the works of the Lord or the works of their of His hands. He will tear them down and build them up no more. Uh, it seems like uh, in the world today, uh, if we see uh, some things that is, I guess it's a, a crime against society or maybe a crime against God that we know for sure that is a crime against God. We're angry. Right. Uh, for instance, maybe uh, we we see uh, abortions are on a rise or whatnot. We we it's more of a more or less a righteous anger uh, because we're we're angry for God. We're jealous that um, of that really. Uh, we're jealous for Him. Um, and here David is saying, "Give to them their due. Uh, if they commit evil. Give them a just punishment." Uh, and then going down to verse 6, Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard the voice of my pleas for mercy. Uh, and then verse 7, The Lord is my strength and my shield, and him my heart trusts, and I am helped, my heart exalts, and with my song I give thanks to him. It seems as if uh, every time we read a couple verses similar to verses 6 and 7, that praise and answered prayers always go hand in hand. Uh, when there's an answered prayer, we give praise to God through that. Um, I found in verse 7 a couple of things that was really interesting. Uh, the Lord is my strength and shield. Uh, Derek, what was David wearing when he went up against Goliath? Yeah, you know, he, well, he had his slingshot, he had his uh, had the rocks, but he first he had on all that armor. Yeah. He had all the armor, it was a little too heavy for him, but he had all, all that equipment, you know, ready to go into battle, but he had to shed that off to just go exactly. just what he had. He was offered Saul's shield, but it wasn't good enough right. because... He had the shield of the Lord with him. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then finally, the, the conclusion of verse 7, with my song, I give thanks to him. We all love to sing, and that's one of the best ways that we can praise God is through our worship and song to him. Mm -hmm. uh, and as we begin to close here in verses 8 and 9, 
The Lord is the strength of his people, and he is the saving refuge of the anointed. O save your people and bless your heritage. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Um, Hold your finger in Psalm 28. Let's look at Hebrews chapter 1 really briefly as we close here. This first phrase in um, verse 8 coincides perfectly with verse 9 of Hebrews chapter 1. You have loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oils of gladness beyond your companions. Uh, The Lord is the strength of his people, and his people are a righteous one. And as long as we are righteous, we will be anointed with that oil of gladness. And it's a comforting feeling to know. And then as we conclude, verse 9, Be their shepherd and carry them forever. There's only one shepherd that I want to be led by, and that's Jesus. Uh, And that's because he saves us, he feeds us, uh, he lifts us up, and he gives us eternal life. Absolutely. And it's so amazing to know that we have him to turn to. Uh, We can turn to him in prayer. He gives us so much strength. And I think for any of us trying to grow in the Lord, uh, we need to to grow in our prayer life so that we can be uh, strong in his power and in, uh, in his might.